Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jazzy. So today I'm super excited because I'm gonna be bringing you guys a gift guide for men. So I'm in a bunch of Facebook groups on Facebook, obviously, <laughs> and everybody keeps asking like, what should I get my boyfriend? What should I get my husband? What should I get my dad? I have some really good ideas, you guys. So I wanted to share them with you guys so that if you guys are struggling as well, you have some ideas. <laughs> so let's just get into this. I separated them by like the type of man. I have like stuff that a sentimental guy would want. I have stuff that a businessman would want, stuff that like a rugged man would want, a sports guy. Like I kind of wanted to get it all in there because I know that I am just with one type of man <laughs> and my man is sentimental all the way. So like every time that I get him stuff, it's always kind of geared around a sentimental thing because that's just what he's into but I know that most guys are not like that <laughs> so I know he is a different breed in that department so I did pick out a lot of other things that other people would like um I think I got stuff for like the tech guy all sorts of things so if you guys want to just skip to what type of guy your guy is <laughs> then check down in the description below for like the different chapters but honestly Dominic likes a lot of the stuff that other types of guys would like to actually most of this stuff is stuff that I've gotten Dominic in the past and he's loved so to the point of like it was hard for me to find the stuff because he has it all on him right now <laughs> so like there's a lot of stuff that I'm gonna mention that I'm just gonna put pictures up for because I asked him to leave the stuff and he forgot so <laughs> it's just stuff he uses every day and it just a lot of it is really good I honestly think you guys are gonna love this guide so let's just hop on in I'm gonna start with the sentimental guy we'll get it out of the way <laughs> because honestly they're the best gifts and they're my favorite to choose and he loves them so let's just hop on in to sentimental gifts for your man <laughs> so the first thing I'm gonna talk about is personalization mall dot com I preach this to everyone this is like where I get a lot of my gifts honestly I'm big into like personalized gifts so even gifts for like my friends my mom my sister I always do personalization mall because there's honestly nothing beats a gift that you know was picked out for you personally <laughs> like that somebody spent time on nothing beats that for me first things first from personalizationmall.com usually I sign up through Groupon so I don't know if they're doing this right now but they definitely do it around the holiday season where you can buy a Groupon for like 75 you can do I think you pay like $75 for $150 worth of product or you can do like I think it's like a you pay 50 bucks for $100 worth of product or something like that. And that can be used along with like the deals that are already going on on personalizationmall.com, which there's already like so much cheap stuff on there. And then on top of it to get those, like the prices are very strange. <laughs> like you wouldn't, you won't believe how cheap things are on there when you have that group on as well. It's insane. They're practically giving things away. So First thing I'm gonna show you are these little blocks that I got Dominic like a long time ago now. Okay, hopefully these show to you guys right. I don't really know if they're going to, but they spell out the word love and they have each of our animals on them. So the L is my dog Princess who passed away honestly before I met Dominic, but he still considers her like part of our family. So I obviously got that. So then the O is Keton, V is Blossom, and E is Sunday. So this is really a really cute idea if you have pets or even if you have just like pictures like wedding pictures of you guys and I think I got them for super cheap. I'll put the price on the screen if I can find the price because I got it so long ago now. And then one thing that was his favorite from there it's just like this glass sign but it's so nice it's like completely glass so you want to be careful with it which i never am and that's why he raves about it because he always is like i'm gonna carry the sign <laughs> because he doesn't want it to break but you can put whatever picture you want in the background so i will show you guys that there's a bunch of different like quotes on there that you guys can choose but how nice is this like this is so nice and I think I'm sure I only paid $20 for it like I can't imagine that I paid more with that group on so yeah definitely head on over there I mean this looks like it would if you were to get this from someplace like things remembered or things to remember whatever that place is called you would pay like 80 bucks for this thing <laughs> so that's a steal and then 
See, I almost broke it just then. <laughs> um, but then next up, I got him this last year, or two years ago now, actually. If you were to look on Etsy, there are a ton of different, like, people that will draw you as a cartoon or... I'm thinking this year, so Dominic and I are really into Big Brother, as you guys know. So on Big Brother, they do this thing called BB Comics, and Dominic mentioned how, like, it would be so cool to have a BB comic made of himself. So I'm thinking of finding someone on Etsy, and I'll link a few of the options below that can draw him as, like, a BB comic, and, like, I can choose the name of what the comic is going to be, like, you know, like, super whatever. You know what I mean? You can choose, like, your own name for his comic character so i'm really excited about that he's going to love that and he is not going to expect that so i'm really happy that i thought of that one <laughs> because he was literally like i would want to go on big brother just to get one of those so i'm like okay well you're not going on big brother anytime soon so i'm gonna get you one <laughs> but a couple years ago i had this made for him you guys have seen this in a couple of my other videos because we always have it displayed he's obsessed with it it is just a picture of of, like a cartoon drawing of him me and our babies as you guys can see and I got to like I worked hand in hand with the illustrator for this and it cost me $25 you guys it was so cheap <laughs> and she worked so well with me like she allowed me to choose all of the different stuff she allowed me to choose the hat that he's wearing the outfit that I was wearing she did a couple of different mock-ups and like for that price I obviously tipped her because like that's the price was just insane but also she allowed me to choose where i wanted my animals which was really cool like that's why blossom is on dominic's shoulders because she loves to like walk and like stand up there and keton is in the arms because she really actually doesn't like to be held but she sometimes is <laughs> and sunday is at the feet trying to get up at us so like i got to choose all of that you guys like this was completely customizable i will definitely link her in the description i don't know if she's on etsy anymore last time i reached out to her was last year because my friend wanted to make Make one for his girlfriend and she said that she's taking orders through instagram now but she is reliable you guys so well hopefully i haven't really talked to him about it since i sent it over to him but i'm pretty sure she's reliable she worked really well with me and yeah i'll leave her down in the description below for you guys because this is one of my all-time favorite things i've ever gotten for him and one of his favorite as well the last thing i'm going to mention is also from personalization mall like i said there's like so much stuff on there that you can choose from so like don't limit yourself to what I'm telling you guys but I made Dominic this book and I cannot find it for the life of me now but I'm gonna look for it so that I can show you guys it and I might even have like some pictures of it but I made him this book where it like it's, it's basically a photo album, but for me, what I did was I put all the different locations that we've been to in it, and the quote was really cute. I can't remember exactly what it was, but that was really affordable, too. So, like, there's just so many things on personalizationmall.com. It is unlimited what you can do. I actually also made my sister and her fiance little business card holders because they started a business a couple years back, and I also made my mom a rolling pin I'm pretty sure on there and like there's just so many things there's so many options on there definitely that's my like big thing that I want to stress to you guys head over there and check it out because there's so much you can do with that all right sorry guys I had to go and run and grab one more sentimental thing so this isn't something that I've ever gotten Dominic but my mom made it for us last year and it is so cute you guys <laughs> like if you want to do a trip or something for your significant other if that's what they're into is more like a travel thing then or like more like a like let's get together and do something like concert tickets or something which you could do as well but this just elevated like the travel gift completely my mom bought a, a um shadow box and she put like she like put together this whole shadow box of gift cards she gave us some sort of amount for airbnb some sort of amount for travel and then a bunch of gift cards for like food and stuff while we're there that i just thought that was so cute dominic loves it <laughs> like literally he didn't want to use it the whole year because he doesn't want to take it apart because it was just so thoughtful and it's just so cute on to the businessman so if you've got a husband that goes into a job where they wear a suit every day or they just like dressing up, Dominic is big into dressing up. His job he does now, he doesn't get to wear a suit, but if he did, like, 
his life would be made. Like he loves dressing up and looking nice. So I usually gravitate towards gifts that a businessman would like. <laughs> so like a tie or socks, Dominic is obsessed with socks. And he honestly, all men love getting socks. It's a very odd thing. <laughs> so for the businessman, this one's kind of like a cross between Honestly, I think any guy would like this, but I got Dominic a wooden watch a couple years back now, and it had just like an engraving of when we started dating, and I think it had like some sort of quote on it about something cute, you know? <laughs> then this year, I bought him another watch for like our engagement, and this one has like the date that we got engaged on it. This one I definitely can put a picture in, and this was the one that I was talking about, so I asked him to leave it here for me, and he wore it today. So I cannot show it to you guys right now, but I'll put it up here to show you guys. And I got them from the same person. I think it's, his company's called Axeman, and the watches are so affordable. Literally, they were were like $45 to $50 each and you can get them engraved and they're really lightweight really good quality Dominic's obsessed with them like he loves them so I highly recommend you can do that for your fiance husband boyfriend dad brother anything like it's just such a good quality watch for so cheap for so cheap you guys and getting it engraved is just that extra touch so, like I said, I'm big into personalizing things, so like I love anything that I can do that with. And then our second thing for the businessman is basically a subscription box that sends you different like ties, different socks, um, sunglasses they sent him one time, they sent him like a tie clip, just a bunch of different stuff they'll send you every month and it's always like just something different you guys know the box subscription things that you guys can get into well there's not a lot out there for men and this one was perfect he loved it and he still has it somewhere i don't know i asked him to leave this stuff out for me you guys and i just i am not in control of what he chooses to do every month different things they get in the mail i think i did it for like 12 months or something like that it was so worth it he loved it it was so exciting every single month when we got it in and it's just something to look forward to okay and last but not least for the businessman i would say like cologne and if you guys are going to shop for cologne i just have like a lot of tips honestly <laughs> for these types of things if you're going to shop for cologne go on overstock.com so i'm able to get his cologne that he likes on there for like half the price of what i'd get it anywhere else seriously you all need to check out overstock.com there's so many things on there but i always get his cologne from there because i don't know it's my go-to place for that i did order him cologne and i actually sent it to our address in new york on accident and i'm very upset about that because i didn't realize until after they delivered it so they like i'm not gonna say i'm mad at their customer service because it's 100 percent my fault but they did not refund me nor would they send me anything which is fine because it was 100 percent my fault but then i reached out to our complex we lived in up north and they also were not interested in like allowing me to have somebody pick it up they literally told me that nobody received it i know somebody received it and they got a hundred dollars worth of cologne and i'm very frustrated by that but i'm gonna have to reorder it for him i literally bought the biggest bottles ever <laughs> because i wanted him to have it for the whole year and i mean it is what it is i'm just gonna have to reorder it but it does piss me off during these times you'd think that people would be acknowledge the fact that i spent good money on that and not a lot of people have a lot of money right now i'm just saying like we're all struggling out here and the fact that they just took my cologne really pisses me off <laughs> but it is what it is i know it's my fault so anyway on to our next category our next category is for the car guy i know it's kind of like a weird one but i'm planning on getting dominic a like either okay so i'm either planning on getting him a trip to like a track where we can drive a super fast car that he would just like really love because he's never done that before or i'm going to rent him his favorite car his favorite car is like a, i think it's called an aston martin or something like that and i don't know how easy that's gonna find, be able to find to like rent him one but i did see that there's an app like airbnb for renting cars i'll put it up on the screen right now and so i'm thinking of just like trying to find that car and renting it for him for christmas i think that would be so much fun <laughs> and he would love that like i think any man would love that even if they aren't really big into cars like just having free reign with a vehicle that they 
have always wanted to own for even a day or even like two hours would be so much fun. So highly recommend that. And um, yeah, that's that's my thought for car guys. Dominic is also a car guy, so <laughs> it's easy for me to come up with these ones. So next up are gifts for the goofy guy. So <laughs> these are just like really fun gifts for guys that like fun, funny gifts, I suppose. So at most of everything that I've gotten on this list is stuff that I, or that I have on this list is stuff that I've gotten from for Dominic or I've tried myself so I can vouch for them. There is one thing that I have not, I mean, this is what I'm going to mention right now. It's called Tushy <laughs> and it's a bidet that you can attach to your toilet. Bidets are in right now, you guys. <laughs> and I, don't know if that's something that would interest Dominic, but I do know that men love these things. <laughs> so definitely, I highly recommend the bidet. I've heard a ton of great reviews on them. And if you don't know what a bidet is, they have them in like other countries where basically you don't have to wipe your butt. It like squirts water up there. <laughs> and like, I don't know, it doesn't really sound like something that I think Dominic would like, but I know there's so many men that would. So um, highly recommend that. And now, and something that I have tried for the goofy guy is, or that obviously I got Dominic, Exploding Kittens is one, and that's a game, and also Babies vs. Bears. So I've gotten him both of those games, and he's obsessed with those games. He loves them. He thinks they're so much fun, and they really, really are. So, like, it's another thing that you can, like, you're getting for, like, more of an activity for you guys. And that, those are kind of more, like, great stocking stuffers. You guys have seen them in our other vlogs from, like, travel vlogs because we bring them everywhere with us because they're just so much fun and funny on to gifts for the practical guy so I know most men are hard to shop for and when that type of thing happens it's easy to just get them what they need <laughs> and so I have a couple of different recommendations that are like great like needed things my first thing is Tommy John's you guys these are the they're so expensive <laughs> They're like $30 underwear for men, but they do have coupons and I think on Black Friday they usually do a really good deal on them and Dominic loves them. I get them for him every year because he loves them and like, I don't know, I always buy him a million pairs a year because he is obsessed with them and they're literally the only ones that he will wear now. We threw all of his other boxers out, which if you guys, you guys know, you know, men don't like to throw their boxers out. I mean, I suppose... We don't really like to throw things out either, clothing items, but men will hold on to boxers from like when they were 18 years old and think that they are still viable choices for undergarments. <laughs> so he threw all those Fruit of the Loom boxers out <laughs> and now he only wears Tommy John's. So I highly recommend, I know these are like sponsored on a lot of podcasts and stuff. And that's actually why I bought them, but I mean, they're not lying. They are great boxers. They're definitely worth it, in my opinion. They're worth it for him to be comfortable and so that we could get rid of those freaking, um, if, is it Fruit of the Loom? I don't know. The, the stuff that little kids wear and they you shouldn't be wearing as an adult. And I know we all have a man that brought some of those with him into the relationship. <laughs> And it's just not necessary. So I highly recommend that. And um, luckily he won't be watching this video because I talk about some of his gifts and he would be totally mad if he knew that I brought that up on here. Another really good recommendation for the practical guy is shoes. Dominic, I bought Dominic a pair of shoes last year and on Amazon and it was on Amazon Prime Day. And these shoes have lasted him literally all year. They're amazing. I'll put them up on the screen here. They have multiple different colors. I got him this bright blue color, which is really weird. I don't even know why I bought him that because he's not really big into like showy, like different colored things, but he loved it. And they lasted him basically the entire year, which is a lot for shoes. I mean, especially when you wear them almost every day. <laughs> so highly recommend these shoes and they were super affordable as well. Like, I feel like whenever we go to JCPenney or like Macy's, their shoes are like $80 a pop for men. And these shoes were only 30. And then also a winter jacket. Last year he wanted this jacket. I'll put it on the screen. He told, he kept talking about it over and over and over again. Well, it was expensive. <laughs> and so we went to JCPenney and we found him a dupe for it. And it is just as nice as the other jacket was. And I think, 
I mean, he loves it. He wears it all the time. He wore it all year last year. He got a lot of compliments in it. On to our next one, which is the sport guy. So this is the one category that I cannot speak to when it comes to Dominic. He is as far from a sports guy as they come, honestly. He is just really not that into sports. But I will tell you, my dad is. <laughs> my dad is a huge sports guy. So coming up with gifts for him has always been pretty easy. One thing that I got him was a Amazon sweater. It was a Christmas sweater. My dad is also really into Christmas. So it was a Christmas Amazon sweater of the Broncos. That's his favorite team. He loved it. He wears it every year now. And it was affordable. I think it was like $30 to $40. And he loves it. And then what we've been, we've started doing re in the recent years is buying him tickets to spring training. So look up where spring training is for your man's favorite sport. My dad lives near where his favorite team does their spring training. So this was really convenient for us. And it's something we now do every year. So him and we buy both him and my mom tickets to do spring training or to go to it. And they get to to be up close and personal to the players and it is really cheap like it, it's honestly too cheap I can't believe how cheap it is <laughs> to send somebody to go do that and he loves it it's a good adventure for him every year and he just he loves that kind of stuff so it's really awesome and a really great gift for any of you guys like husbands or dads that are really into sports because they get to be so close to their favorite players it's just a cool experience all around and you could probably even do one of those shadow boxes that I showed you earlier rather than do like the road trip shadow box you could do like a sports shadow box and inside it you could put like a that a jersey or whatever and then have like the spring training tickets or I don't know you guys can get creative with it but I think that's a really clever way to give them the gift rather than just like kind of being like ah uh, you're going you know so next up is gifts for a man who likes to cook so a couple of years ago, I got Dominic this book called Thug Kitchen, and this is, like, just a manly book. I'm not going to lie. Like, and, okay, it says Thug Kitchen, eat like you give a... Not, apparently, I'm deciding I don't want to swear on my channel today. <laughs> Usually, I do, but I guess I don't want to right now. It just has, like, it's so funny. It has, like, a bunch of different, like... <laughs> things inside of it it curses so this isn't for somebody that doesn't like swear words but it is a healthy book this one is a vegan one but there are a bunch of other ones that are not vegan by the same author and we just get a kick out of this book it's so funny when I first got it for him we were reading like a couple pages a night just for a kick and it's just so fun Okay, another really good thing to get a chef is just a really nice knife set. I highly recommend the one that we have. Dominic is big on having good knife sets, so definitely get a new knife set for them if they don't already have, like, a really nice knife set. And then also last night, I found this cool grilling thing for golfers. I'm going to put it up on screen. I found it on Amazon, and it's a golf club style grill accessory kit it is really cool looking <laughs> so I, I mean I obviously don't have it and Dominic's not into golfing but I just think it's really cool so while I was brainstorming I was like I gotta find some more ideas for certain categories and this was one of the ones that popped up so the next category and it's actually my last category and then I just have like a couple of different things that I think like that don't really go in a category I suppose but my last category is for the rugged man or more of like a country man and I found this really cool subscription box it's called the mystery tackle box and they will send your your man like I think it's like I think you can sign up for three months or more of a subscription of like different I'm putting it on screen that's why I'm putting my hands here but of a subscription for just different like I think they'll send him like mystery tackle I don't know what tackle is necessarily but I'm assuming it's like some sort of fish stuff <laughs> it'll just be like a mystery box every single month he'll get different stuff that he can use which I thought was really really neat and then I had to call in the troops for this one a little bit because my man is not 
rugged in case you guys haven't noticed my man is definitely not on the country side of things <laughs> so i had to ask my friend for some advice on this one and she gave a lot of different ideas so she suggests getting a yeti cup from walgreens she said they do a lot of different deals this time of year that you guys can get one for super cheap and also she suggested a kegerator which is a keg and a refrigerator which i thought was really neat i'll put one up on screen for you guys but pretty cool and also if your man's into beer saw another subscription to like i think it's beers from around the world and i'll put that up on screen too and i'll obviously link everything down below for you guys but that's a really cool and unique idea another idea she had was like gun range time so like getting them a trip to obviously go to the gun range or even like one of those bow and arrow places or the axe throwing places oh men love that kind of stuff <laughs> so i think that would be really fun i think they'd really like that and and another thing is like a Yeti cooler. Those are kind of pricey and a lot of times like you don't really want to buy them yourself, but you'd love one for Christmas. And I think definitely like a Fisher would like that kind of thing. And then one thing I thought was really cool that she recommended was exotic jerky. Like it, she said there's jerky made out of like ostrich and stuff. And I personally wouldn't want to try that, but I think that's a really cool thing. And I think a lot of men would think that was really interesting to get something like that. On to no category. So now I'm just gonna like tell you guys a couple of different things that I think would be fun and that I've gotten to gotten for Dominic that are really good. So a few years ago, I got him this watch and I know I already mentioned a watch in a different one, but this one is smartwatch and it's for anybody like a man that doesn't like Apple products it's a Nokia watch and it's really awesome because they can read their text on it but it really doesn't look like it's a smart watch at all it's on this little thing right here I don't know if you guys can see it on that little thing there it shows their text messages and this thing lasts forever the charge on this literally lasts like 80 days or something like that it's amazing so highly recommend this watch he loves it another recommendation is a coffee subscription so i saw there's a coffee subscription for like different coffee around the world like the beer thing that i mentioned and i think that's so cool i think that's something my dad would absolutely love to get so highly recommend that i'll link that down below for you guys yeah i have so many ideas <laughs> to be honest so i mean maybe i'll make another one of these if you guys want a more specific like gifts for your grandparents or gifts for your parents or gifts for your significant other like if you want something more specific in a gift guide just let me know because i really like making these and it's just really fun all right guys thanks so much for watching this video and if you liked it please remember to hit that red subscribe button or it's gonna be right here in the middle when I my end screen shows and just hit that little button there and you guys will be subscribed to my channel so you can see more videos like this I will be coming out with more different gift guides for you guys and they're just so much fun for me and I have so many ideas gifts are my favorite I love giving gifts so definitely subscribe so you guys can see what's to come all right guys I will see you next time